56 years post-independence, Basotho are still grappling with the basic necessities. Water remains the biggest challenge, and for many who still have to spend valuable time just to secure water for the day. I come at least twice a day because I come in the morning and later in the afternoon. We really have water challenges. We don't even ever bother reporting. We just resolve to come here when our taps at home run dry. We have been voting, but those we vote have installed dry taps. This bridge was washed away during the rainy season. A serious challenge to some trying to access the polling station. One of the candidates, Professor Nkosamahao, has brought his 92-year-old mother, who says she is bothered by the unacceptable crime levels. Sir, I have a serious problem with the upcoming generation that seem to have turned into wild animals of late. They behave like vampires, and go about killing innocent people, it's tragic. If somehow God can hear us, we pray that this should be the end of it. The leader of the Basoto Action Party, Professor Nkosamahao, after inspecting several polling stations, also cast his vote, but says he observed a few worrisome trends. I'll tell you the one thing that is of a major concern, really. The huge numbers of people that were not known in the community who were apparently registered in the constituency, in the various uh, voting uh, stations of the constituency. That, that is a, a major issue of concern, of course. What impact uh, it would have on the outcome, we don't quite know, nor can we speculate as yet. But uh, it certainly remains a major issue of concern. All polling stations will be closing at 1700 hours tonight, but those who will be ready in the queue will be assisted. Rabelang Khatebe, SABC News, Maserolo Soto.